Hello, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I am back with another wine review. Now, these are wines that you can find in your everyday liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shops on the shelves. Now, I do a very, very simple wine review. Thumbs up, meaning I highly recommend this wine. Give it a try. Three quarters said, you know what? I wouldn't turn it down if it's at a party. I would drink it. I'd maybe buy a bottle or two. Halfway. Not so much for me, but I recommend you give it a try anyway and let me know what you think of it. Thumbs down, get that wine out of here. Now, let's get down to the fun. You know, the, the weather is changing, and when the weather is changing, you have some people who still want to drink like big, bold cabs and Zinfandels and Syrah. Is Zinfandel still a thing? I'm sure it is. I have to do some Zinfandels. But anyway, but when the weather begins to warm up, you want to drink something, you know, light, you know, crisp, refreshing whites, soft, fruity reds, and which brings us to what we're doing today. So on today's show, we are doing Georges George de Bouf, Beaujolais Village, 2016. You can see that 90 up there. So was it James Suckling gave it a 90-point score? Wow, so we got to find out if, you know, James and I, we got the same palette or we're going different directions. So, 2016, Georges Dubois. Now, so for those of you who are not familiar with Georges or Dubois wines, uh, think about the uh, the uh, release of the, uh, uh, what is it, um, what is that called, the Nouveau, Nouveau release, the Beaujolais Nouveau, that release that happens every Thanksgiving. You know, that is the same brand, you know, that happens. That release that wine, you know, a week before Thanksgiving, everyone just goes crazy and they buy it. I've had some good ones over the years, and I have some bad ones over the years. So you can give that a try. So it's the same maker. Now, we're talking Beaujolais Village. So you have like, you have 38 different areas, uh, or 38 different areas, growing areas in the Beaujolais region. And within those areas, different levels of wines are made. So in order to be called Beaujolais Village, you must be part of the, the Big 38. So now, you have the lower level, which is the uh, Beaujolais Nouveau, you know, that release that happens every year, just very simple. Call it table wine. You have the Beaujolais Village Light, I like to call it. And then you have the Beaujolais Upper Echelon, which will be more like Cruz, Grand Cruz, you know, uh, very highly sought after wines. So we're not, right now tasting in that mid-range. So let's uh, get right to it, shall we? Let's see. Oh, you can hear that. You can hear that release. Haley's Corker always does a good job of keeping the wines. For those who are new, I always pour. Let me just see. I always pour wine uh, out of the bottle. You can see it's down at the shoulders, and give it like a day or two day time to breathe. I do that with every wine, both red and white. You know, uh, oftentimes you open a bottle for the first time, the wine can be tight. It won't give a good expression of itself, but to a day or two later, the wine is just right. Now, wow, I can just smell the red beers in that wine. As soon as I open a Hades Corker and as I pour it into my glass, I haven't even swirled it yet. Get a look at that color. You know, a nice garnet color. You know, pretty nice. Now, for those who are not familiar with the uh, Beaujolais wines, the grapes... Uh, that produce a lot of the Beaujolais wines will be Gamay, G-A-M-A-Y, Gamay. And I want to say, if you are a Pinot Noir drinker, give the Gamays a try. You know, it, again, it range in style, just like Pinot Noir, light to full body. Give it a try. So now, there's my swirl. Mmm, that nose, you know what I mean? Wow. Subtle floral, cherry. Let's give my rinse. Now, those that know me and have been watching and following me know that I like to have nice acidity present in my red wines, just as do in my white wines. Wow, but that, that acidity is there for that one. You know, and that tells me this wine is, is fresh. This is 2016, but it's still very, very lively. All right, now for the taste. Okay. As I said, light. You can even have a, a, a subtle chill on this wine, okay? So very light, very clean, you know, uh, very refreshing. I mean, I love this city. You know, I mean, this is this is the kind of wine that you have uh, at a simple gathering, a simple cocktail gathering, sitting out by the fire or something like that, or on, on a nice sunny day, 
You know, you can even have it on a nice, you know, day with a cool breeze. I think this one would be fantastic for that. So, your Wisconsin Wine Guy for the 2016 Georges Dubouf Beaujolais Village. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm digging it. Thumbs up. I'm digging this wine. It hits the spot for me. I hope it hits the spot for you. Again, bright, clean, you know, smooth, elegant, nice acidity. And if you are a Pinot Noir drinker, I recommend crossing over and trying uh, your uh, palate with some Gamay's. All right. So Wisconsin Wine Guy saying, as always, let your palate be the guy I'm selecting your next wine. And we'll see you next time. Bye.